Looking at specific genus and species of isopods, each with slightly differing care needs, we've produced a series of videos based on the species specifically. Firstly, where it comes from, the habitat it might prefer, and moving on to any care best practices for this species, which again may differ, if only ever so slightly in some cases, from a very similar species, or at least a species from a similar location or appearance. The Christomodillum muricatum are small sized pieces of isopod with a maximum length of 0.8 centimetres. These isopods are quite shy and will spend a lot of their time underneath leaves and cork bark. They are mostly seen active at night and early mornings. The Christomodillum muricatum coloration is yellow to orange with small spikes covering the body. These can be commonly known as the crystal pineapple isopod. The origins of the Christomodillum muricatum come from Spain which is east and southeast of Spain within the Mediterranean area of Europe. We draw from this both soil composition in these areas being dry, almost to the point of being arid, and relatively warm in temperature. So this would lead to our substrate, and including any suitable decor, humidity and temperature of the setup, being a mirror of these as best we can for the original environment, spent many, many ice pods being quite versatile. Based on location, Temperatures should be kept at around 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. As the location is drier, near it arid, this should be a mirror within the setup. Using sphagnum moss as a hydration station, this would allow a gradient of water and humidity. The setup would be similar to one of a porcelio species. Cork bark flats should provide suitable hides. Limestone rocks with natural holes can be quite useful as this species comes from caves. Calcium source, as with any isopod, is required. Limestone containing rock is much more preferable to the cuttle bone due to its sustainability. The protein source can be supplemented by dried shrimp and other similar foods. Like most isopods, they will predominantly eat decaying hardwood leaves and, ha and hardwood, but fruit and vegetables will both be enjoyed by this species. In the right conditions, the Christomodillum muricatum will breed a lot quicker relatively than the larger Porcelio species. Thank you for watching. If you have found this video useful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. This will give you updates on new releases of a similar nature. This is very helpful to us. We do appreciate it. Check out our social media links found within the description of this video. We also love discussion, especially if you have another point of view. Please add your comments it helps us improve our content. We do have plans to make many more videos in the future, however these might have content updates as our work progresses. Our videos might be updated and re-uploaded at any point as our research progresses. Thank you once again.